I'm a huge fan of gadgets. I like all electronic equipment like cameras, cell phones, computers, remote control helicopters. The list goes on and on. Although I have to admit I'm biased when it comes to cell phones and computers because I only use Apple products. Actually, biased is a good word to know. It means you have a fixed opinion about a certain topic and you can use it the way I just did by saying, I'm biased when it comes to. Anyway, this week, I want to tell you why my latest gadget fascination is with electric bikes. So what, what's an electric bike? Well, an electric bike is a regular looking bicycle, including pedals, that has an electric motor attached to one of its hubs. Uh, the hub, by the way, is the center part of the wheel. The motor can be on the back or front hub, but most e-bikes have the motor on the front. The next thing you should know about e-bikes is that some require you to pedal, but the motor assists you. The other type of e-bike does all the work for you. Now, I happen to like the electric assist bikes because I like the exercise. The beauty of an e-bike, beauty meaning great thing, is that you're not going to arrive at your destination looking like you just rode your bike because you won't be all sweaty and smelly. This is especially good if you have a lot of hills in your area. The other cool thing about e-bikes is that they're environmentally friendly. There are zero emissions. Uh, emissions means that something is emitted or let out or released. For gas-powered vehicles, you get all those bad emissions that are hurting the environment. And the final cool thing about e-bikes is they're fast. E-bikes sold in Canada or the U.S. are only allowed to go a maximum of 20 miles per hour or 32 kilometers per hour. Now to compare, the average running speed for humans is 15 miles per hour or 24 kilometers per hour. So you can go faster than running and you won't be all tired and sweaty. The average range or distance you can ride on one charge is about 15 to 20 miles or 24 to 32 kilometers. And it takes about four hours or so to recharge the battery. The only real drawback or negative aspect is the initial purchase price. E-bikes start at about $500 US but can easily go over $1,000 or $2,000 depending on the bike. But I think it's worth it because you're getting some exercise and helping the environment at the same time. So what, what's an electric bike? Well, an electric bike is a regular looking bicycle, including pedals, that has an electric motor attached to one of its hubs. So what, what's an electric bike? Well, an electric bike is a regular looking bicycle, including pedals, that has an electric motor attached to one of its hubs. Uh, the hub, by the way, is the center part of the wheel. The motor can be on the back or front hub, but most e-bikes have the motor on the front. Uh, the hub, by the way, is the center part of the wheel. The motor can be on the back or front hub, but most e-bikes have the motor on the front. The next thing you should know about e-bikes is that some require you to pedal, but the motor assists you. The next thing you should know about e-bikes is that some require you to pedal but the motor assists you. So, what's your opinion? Would you buy an electric bike? Or if you have one, what do you think about it? Let me know by leaving a comment below. Thanks, and see you next time.